The sixth question is proving triangles congruent with ASA and AAS. That is angle side angle and angle angle side. We have done similar problems in the writing part as well. Now, since this is in MCQ part, I guess they, they just ask you which congruent uh, theorem is used because they can't ask you the details. Over here, the answer is, you know, uh, given statement and reason. But what they might ask you is which congruency is used. So let's look at this. Here they have given you AB is parallel to CD and CBD, that is CBD over here. This angle is congruent to ADB. Okay. So these both are equal. These two lines are parallel. Now, first thing I can see is this is a, a reflexive property. Why? Because this is the same line, isn't it? They are reflection to each other. The Both the triangles use the same line so they are equal and what next since these are parallel can i tell this is equal to this interior angles so alternate in their opposite sides so they are alternate inside angles interior angles see these are parallel lines they're inner to them so i got an angle side and an angle so it is asa postulate you can see the final answer is by asa postulate Similarly, you can solve the others. Let's look into this one. What is given? S is given and it's congruent to V. Okay, those both are equal. T is the midpoint of SV. That means these both lines are congruent to each other because midpoint cuts into two equal parts. And now this angle T and T are vertical angles, so they are equal to each other, right? So again, A, S, A postulate is used. Now here it's just given in detail. I just told the same thing. And what about this one here? We have AD congruent to, oh sorry, we have to prove that they both are congruent. The given is up. AB is congruent to CB, okay. Angle A is congruent to C. And they have told DB bisects this particular angle ABC. So that means this angle is equal to this angle. Because of bisection, this is equal to this. They have told this is equal and the sides are equal. So we have ASA postulate. ASA. Now, what is the thing? They have asked us to prove that these two lines are equal, right? Now, because of ASA postulate, we have proved that this triangle is equal to this triangle. If there are two congruent triangles, equal means congruent, then all the parts and sides and angles are equal. So this side is equal to this, this is equal to this, this is equal to this. All the sides and angles are congruent. We call it congruent parts of congruent triangles. See this one, CPCT. What is it? Congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So there are three times congruent. Congruent parts, all the parts of congruent triangles, these both are congruent, are congruent means they are equal to each other. So just remember CP, CTC. And uh, that ASA postulate was used to prove them they both are congruent. Now what about this one? Here also CD. Now I exactly do not know how they'll ask this in MCQ, but anyways, you will have four choices. It's easy to recognize them. It'll be CD over here by six AE. So this is congruent to this line because AE is bisected by CD line. So AC and C are equal. And what next? AB is parallel to CD. Okay, that's fine. And what do we know? E is congruent to BCA. Now, since these both are parallel, A and C is corresponding angles, right? A and C is corresponding angles. So we have ASA again. And hence, they are congruent to each other, these two triangles. So you can see it's ASA congruency postulate. Now, there are a few more problems, same concept. You can try them by yourselves now. See so again, C is bisecting what? B, E, D. So these both are equal to each other. This line, looking at it, I can say it's a reflexive. And if this is 90, this must be 90, right? So what happens? A, S, A postulate again. So you can see this is by A, S, A postulate. That is angle side angle congruency postulate. And the last problem over here, what do we have is W is congruent to Y. This line is congruent to this line that is WZ and YZ. And XZ bisects WXY. So again, angle, side, angle. This bisect means these both are equal. So it is again ASA postulate. So that's how we can easily go through that problem. 
Just look into the congruency postulates, look at the given, and then you can easily prove what is required.